Just because certain elements in your home are getting older doesn't mean you have to replace them. Jonathan's a prime example. He's getting older, but you don't see me replacing him. I'm gonna show you which features to keep and which features to replace. This is setting the stage. Vicky from Chicago sent me a picture of her living room. She says she likes some of the natural elements like the wood and stone, but she doesn't know if it's too much, if it's making it feel dated. She wants a fresh feel. Vicky, there is so much potential with your home, but before we do a makeover on your place, I want to show you a house with similar issues. I love historic homes, big stately homes like this. I mean, this is almost 100 years old, and one of the things I love the most is that every space is nice and wide, the entry. I mean, this house has two big living spaces on either side. And even though you can see the fireplaces may be a little dated or the surround might be a bit dated, there's a lot that you can do with this. I mean, stain out this wood, it would look gorgeous. This home doesn't have high ceilings on the main floor, which a lot of these houses do have, but because it's lower, they did a low profile faux beam, and that's very smart because then it doesn't feel like you're shrinking the ceiling. One of the biggest fights that people have with a historic home is what do they do with the trim and all the woodwork? Do they paint it out or do they keep it original? Well, it depends on the neighborhood. You have to know what buyers want to see in your area. In fact, this neighborhood, this is the first of several historic homes on this block, but a lot of the houses, even back in the day, they used to paint out the trim. So go for it. If you want to have a nice, white, light, fresh color in here for your trim, that's fine. But there are two areas that are not spacious in a lot of these old historic homes. Doorways and hallways. I mean, I can barely fit my shoulders through this hallway, and I'm definitely bigger than this door. Tiny doorways like this or skinny stairwells, that doesn't add value. Something else that doesn't add value? Flimsy divides like this. Don't do something like that. Either put a door in or just open things up. I mean, it's nice that you have some wainscoting, some woodwork, but I don't think it's the nicest looking thing. I would probably swap that out. Or maybe do something that's a little bit more decorative detail for the wall. If you're renovating a house to live in it, you might want to spend a few more dollars because you want to customize the home. If you're just renovating the house to sell and you want to stage it to look its best, maybe you don't want to spend quite as much, but you still have to make it a functional home for a family. Historic homes typically aren't functional for today's families, so that's why you have to reconfigure a little bit. This kitchen is tucked off to the side and is closed off. I would open things up a bit so you had better flow, so someone in the kitchen can keep an eye on the kids. Flooring is something that you want to keep that looks maybe a little bit more traditional because that can flow through the entire house. Wall detail, wainscoting. You can even have some transoms at your doorways or maybe try and do something like stained glass window. Whatever fits the aesthetic of your historic home. One thing I don't think you need to have is the saloon door leading into your kitchen. I mean, don't get me wrong, if Linda was leaving me nice warm pies on the pie ledge here, I'd like this door a whole lot more. This is a beautiful historic home, but you can see from the fireplace wall that they've tried to do some add-ons over the years. They tried to match up the wood tones, but I think there's a lot more that you could do. Here's an example of how you can keep some of the darker tones in the faux beams, but paint out the rest of the wood to make it feel fresh and new. Keep in mind, you're not destroying an original feature of the home by painting out the wood, you're just breathing some fresh life into it. Now, Vicky, let's go back to your living room. Here's the before picture of your living room. You're right, it does feel a little dark and it feels dated. However, there's a lot of potential here. How about instead of the dark paneled walls, do some beautiful light wood built-ins. This adds function, it gives you storage, and it gives you style. 